Hey there, Space Marines, and welcome to the Grey Hill Incident. Now, before we jump into this alien game, yesterday I was supposed to do an upload for the Resident Evil series, but I did feel ill, and I was also busy walking the dogs. And then when I got back, I just felt absolutely shattered, so I didn't do any recording yesterday at all. So let's jump in. I am still feeling a bit under weather today, but I am feeling a lot better than I was yesterday, so hence is why I'm uploading today. Guys, can you hear me? Someone was in our backyard next to her dog last night. When my husband came out with his gun, the unknown was gone. Since then, our dog has disappeared. I want to file a complaint. I'll call the police in a few minutes. Maybe. As you already know, I don't trust these people. Neither the government nor anyone else, and you shouldn't trust them either. We found in our neighborhood watch for such cases. I don't want to see a policeman in Grey Hill. Brandon, I want this to stop. The whole thing has been going on for several weeks. I'm really afraid. After all, several animals have already disappeared. And Grandma Mary is... Oh, we should have already reported it to the police long ago. I know that's a hard case, Amy. The neighborhood watch takes care of it. It's Ryan's turn today. He will visit you tonight during his tour. That's a good idea, Bob. I'm convinced that the hack protects me. Brandon is right. They won't help us. They would rather make our lives hell. But I would still prefer if an officer stopped by here. You know, I almost drank petrol last week. I forgot I put it in a Coke bottle. Bob, shut the fuck up. Amy, <laughs> I forbid you to call the police. Ryan, you can hear me, right? My daughter didn't talk the whole day. But she was in the forest with your son in the morning. There was a strange noise, and Henry was curious about it. He went closer to it. Rachel ran home, but Henry stayed there. Henry went home later, right? What has he seen there? Rude kid. Instead of saving my daughter, he let her alone, and she had to run home by herself. Brandon, that's enough. It's been two months since his mother left me. Henry still isn't talking to me. He just can't get over it, so mind your business. Letty has your daughter to hang out with. Rachel's a good kid. I was sleeping the past few hours because of my shift tonight. I think Henry came home a few minutes ago. I heard him lock himself in his room. But he's probably just watching TV like always. Anything to avoid talking to his old man. Are you sure that's I think he'll come out soon. Henry though? What? Dust is in this game. We'll try to rest a bit. That's a great idea, Bob. That's awesome. I'll reach out to the other neighbors, telling them to board up all the stuff just until this shit is over and everything is alright. 
right again. The fact is, the government is hiding something from the people. Things like this didn't just happen here in Greyhill. It started with Roswell, but it's been increasing since the 60s. That's the way it is. Oh, Ryan. Uh, sure. Oh, that's Rachel sad. and Henry are more important right now. But if I could find your cats, I'll let you know. Okay, Bob? I'll try to talk to my kid now, but that's if he'll talk to me. Call me if there's something new. Don't forget to visit us later, Ryan. We'll make some coffee for you. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Amy. So let's go and talk to Henry then. Doesn't fix the TV. Henry, tell me what you saw in the forest today. You should ask Rachel, that crazy girl. Henry, is someone in your room? Is Rachel in there? God, I hope not. She should stop bothering me. What's going on with you, Henry? Tell me. Who's there? I'm going to your room, Henry. Stay here. Is this Henry's? No, that looks to be like the kitchen. Losing time. People who claim to have been abducted by aliens often report they lost time. Someone was in your room. They went out the window. Okay, let's go see what map is going. You shouldn't do that. Now. So it must be out this way then. Max, stop barking! Who's there? Is someone in the shed? Max, be quiet! Let's like so let's see what's going off the flashlight. And they and I really don't like using these flashlights. I wish it was just a like a normal flashlight where it would just turn on. So lots of cross crawl I can use this to unlock broken doors. So I want to run. Right. The unidentified. Ow, that noise. People who no, live in Max. the countryside are in danger. A stare magazine says that people who live in the countryside are at increased risk of being abducted by aliens. Because outlying villages are um, so remote, it's hard to notice if something happens. Where's that dog going? Oh no. Where's it? No. Really don't say that they've, they've got the dog. Cause I'll go and John Wick them. Sounds like the neighbors are boarding up. Alone. Dad, it wasn't Rachel, right? Yeah, he uh, locked the door and ran out of the roof. It's okay, he's gone now. But there was a strange light. Look, the TV. It's working now. Good evening. Lunatics and conspiracy theorists claim to have seen a UFO. The minority tries to convince other people that the small green aliens are real. The government has checked into this incident and has announced that this UFO, fortunately, is just a weather balloon. 
This movement that you'll see in a few seconds is just a reflection on the lens of the camera. There is no reason to concern. And don't forget to be don't aware lie. of the small green man in your backyard. Your Mr. Broker. I don't, I don't trust the Mr. Broker. That is not a weather balloon. They're lying. The government is lying and they're trying to hide it from us. Brandon was right. They're already in Grey Hill. We can't talk about it to the police. They'll just lock us up in a psych ward. Dad, we need to get out of this cursed place. I hate this neighborhood hole. Ryan, be there. I'll go talk to Brandon. Brandon's trophies from the shooting range he gave to every neighbor because he didn't have any more space to store them. Why can I not pick up me walkie talkie? Does that mean I've got to pick it up properly? Right, I've already. Why is it two there? I thought I bought this book back in the 80s. My brother Bob experienced something similar during his childhood. This is my story. I explain everything about what I experienced during my alien abduction. I'm here. Ryan, something is wrong with Joe Parson, the farmer, you know? He called me a few minutes ago. He was very afraid. Then the radio connection became broken off by something. He is working on the field near your house. You must check immediately what happened to him. Okay. We will do it in a second. By the way, someone was in Henry's room. They escaped out the window. They almost caught them in our shed. But there was a strange blue light. I'm sure they're here. Pull yourself together. Have you seen the TV news? No one will help us. We're all boarding up our windows currently. I know how to shoot because of the Vietnam War, and you can handle the baseball bat. We will overcome this night and drive to our holiday home by tomorrow. Don't forget how I shot your son's hat off while wearing it when I was drunk at the barbecue last summer. Imagine how I can handle the gun when I'm sober. Uh, Brandon, you still have to pay for that. <sighs> leaving town tomorrow sounds like yeah, what's the noise? I'll keep you updated. Over and out. Sounds like a, a mobile phone. Well, I'm trash now. to the tractor and see if who was it? Jewel. So we're gonna see if Mr. Is everything alright? We're gonna see if Mr. Jewel's in here. I don't think so. What is that? That looks like a fuse that the aliens use. Let's go back over to the tractor. I think I did see something in there. Yeah.
Oh, why is that noise? I have to pick this up again. So I can't take the voice recorder with us. Right, there's another fuse, I think, over here. Right, oh, so it's, it's Bob's cat, right? I hope it is Kitty. So let me go back to where I came from. Try and carry on past this. Maybe I should just sign. And sure hopefully, and hopefully that there is a way down this way. He already boarded up his door weeks ago. I'll have to try the dormer window on his roof. Just click that. Why am I having a struggle to get up here? There we go. Bob wrote a book about his alien abduction experience. Unfortunately, he can't find a publisher. Bob Barker tells the story of, about his abduction and describes how to have a happy li life despite being probed. What's this? Subwater. Directed by... He's Cameron. Ryan! I thought that was you on my roof. <gasps> Is this Kitty? My cat? Yeah. I wanna hope so. Out in the field near the tractor. Oh, what does she have on her head? I don't know. It makes a strange noise. It sounds like electricity or something. It sounds like oh, a cow. Bob. I had a strange encounter in my backyard. There was also some kind of weird electricity. I'll tell you about it later. Let's look at the cat first. Put her on the table. I'll take a closer look. Mm, it looks like an implant. There's some kind of probe. Ryan, I think they abducted Kitty and had experiments. By the way, I have you bored it your house? It's really dangerous in Grey Hill these days. No, not yet. You should do it immediately. You need to wear a tinfoil hat. Your son Henry too. They go into your brains by telepathy. Also, don't forget, don't ever tell anything to the police. As Brandon said before, the government knows it. Now, take this preparation for your walkie-talkie. The tin foil's on the kitchen desk. Right, kitchen desk. Is that it? That looks like tin foil. Yeah, that looks like tin foil. Ryan, please oh. check the monitors fast. Huh? What the hell is this? No, 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 It's a 
was the balloon. Like the news guy said. Right, so now. it's R2, yeah, two. But don't go home by the streets. Go through the barn in front of my caravan. I've got a camera. I'm gonna record the UFO. This will be the perfect compliment for my documentation. And then I'm coming over. Break down the door with your baseball bat and take care. So I couldn't break the door. He was talking right. Henry, can you hear me? Right, where's that little shit gun? Some kind of drawing. Oh, so it's from Joe Patterson. Okay. Alien in the cornfield saw this yesterday. You must report this to Brandon tomorrow. Hmm. He wrote a note to himself, I think, I think he had Alzheimer's. Can I have the flashlight on just for a bit? Just so I know where I'm going. And there's that noise again. So it's something about the corn maze, right? Right, so that's over here. I think I remember there being a fence through the cornfield. I just need to get around the side over there. So you need to go to the silo. We'll have a look in a minute where the silo is. Oops, so there's the silo. Right. Walking into barbed wire there. Where's the silo? Here. On the right. No! No, Henry! So how do I get out of here? Here we go. Who did you call the Ghostbusters? Oh yeah, this is the bathroom, isn't it? So before I go and speak to the police, I want to just have a look around again. See if I'm... What's in here? Oh, nothing. I can just hide in there. Something wrong with his guitar. Wait, the police is just. Oh god. I 
I'd rather just be like, I'll just rather hide in the trash can and just disguise myself as garbage. Expected alien invasion in Grey Hill on May 11th, 1992. Why is there a secret file of Grey Hill in the police? Yeah, what was that? I can't even read that. Hold the L1 to grab the gun. Right. I'm gonna go back to Bob's trailer to see if we need to do anything. Oh yeah, we need to go to, uh, uh, where is he? See so, you know, what I want to politely shut his door. Oh yeah, he said he'd be at our house, didn't he? There he is. <clears throat> Bob, thank God Henry. They abducted him using some sort of ray or beam right through the roof. The squad car crashed back there. I think Amy called it. But the car's empty and the office is gone. Ryan, this is an absolute invasion. Do you know what that means? They'll abduct everyone in the village. Humans, animals, and every little insect. They'll take samples of everything, making experiments of everyone. This is an extraterrestrial investigation. This can't be I understand, open. Bob. I don't want to end up as an alien experiment victim. They we already need it, Bob. Your house, so I don't think they're going to come back. I've already started to board up your place. This will save us tonight. But Ryan, we have a little problem. I used up all the nails. This morning, I brought all my nails to the Creek family. Mr. Creek put them on the table in their house. You have to go get them. It's the first house on the left. I think he boarded it up, but you have to find a way in. All right, I'll get him. We communicate by walkies from now on. Right. So that means. So he pointed this way, didn't he? Quick test, test, test. Uh, can you hear me? Hello. Over. First house in the left. Yeah, I can hear you. By the way, I found a gun in that crash squad car back there. Let's hope I don't have to use it. Great. But be quiet and sneak around. It's dangerous if they hear the shots and see Some you. Also, avoid using, use avoid using the flashlight. Grays could see it immediately. And take note, it's important that they don't follow you into the house. If they do, we're screwed. If it becomes dangerous, hide in a car, a trash can, or something else. Yeah, great. Trash cans. Right. I would love to see right. It's just the... <laughs> Yeah, this okay. is Creeks. Good luck, Ryan. I'm waiting for you. I can't use my baseball bat on that. What's on the other side? <laughs> Hmm. I don't want to take 
take out my gun. So I think I figured out the way to get past that house. I think we've got to wait until our yellow bar is there and then we break down one of the fences. I'm not too sure but I am going to check now. Yeah, that was right. So before we... Yeah, I, I was just checking if I was, re if I was just recording that, so... And yeah, we are. So here we go. Okay, so a green man right there. Well, I don't know where he's gone. But hopefully, he hasn't. Hopefully, he's just did a magic trick and just disappeared. Hey, hey now. can safely check this house clear clear didn't Rob's Bob say that he left the nails on the kitchen yeah Bob needs him to board up the house before we go outside so, so we can't even go in there right Fine. That just means we've got to go all up around the long way. Where is that exit again? There it is. I'm just so glad that I could find those nails. I just hope no little green gremlin is watching me. Do a moonwalk backwards just in case. Right. We should be safe for now. Notifications are going off. Brandon! Brandon! Brandon, hang on! I'm coming! Okay, Ryan. Go to Brandon. He needs your help. In the meantime, I'll try to get my caravan working. They disabled all the cars in Greyhill. 